Grant Gilmore joining us right now. And I was reading that firefighters getting a bit of help because yeah. of some of the wind conditions there. The wind's dying down a bit. It's been so breezy up there that firefighters haven't been able to work ahead of these fires. What they do is they try to work ahead of the store or these fires and, and take down trees and, and create these fire breaks. But when the wind is constantly blowing the fire ahead and ahead, they just can't do that. So a calm wind day is a good day Yeah. to, to at least try to fight. Thinking of, of all of those there and in Hawaii, we're counting our blessings here. That is yeah, for sure. Yeah, we really are. It's been really beautiful the last couple of days. Today, just as just like yesterday, in fact, we saw a lot of sunshine. Let me take you down to Summer's Point there. A little breezy coming off the shore. Birds were out there earlier on this afternoon, but I think that breeze picks up a little bit and they kind of say, no thanks. We'll go seek some refuge in some trees or something like that. But the breeze is nice out there this afternoon and so is the sky. We've got blue skies here in Center City. Just a great start to our Sunday evening. 85 degrees right now in Philly. Wind speeds out of the southwest around 14 miles per hour. We've seen some gusts up around 20 to 25 miles per hour, but with temperatures near 85 degrees, relatively low humidity, that breeze does feel really nice. Current temperatures around the rest of the area, 85 in AC, 80 degrees in Wildwood up towards Reddington and Allentown. Temperatures are in the low to mid 80s as well. Again, a great start. We are a little warmer than yesterday, 5 to nearly 10 degrees warmer in some spots. But as we go into the evening hours, those clear skies will allow temperatures to gradually cool off. Uh, just a few passing clouds here or there, but our flow has started to shift to the south and west with that center of high pressure now shifting to the south and east. So that southwesterly wind is what's giving us a little more of that warmth today. It's also going to give us a hint of humidity as we go into the overnight hours. Overnight low is about about near 70 degrees. And then tomorrow afternoon, even more heat. Temperatures climb into the low and mid 90s tomorrow. We'll see a few more scattered clouds. This cold front sneaking in from the north. There will be a few stray showers out ahead of it, but by the time the front sweeps through here, I think it's only an isolated shower at best. Most of us probably don't see any rain. One, because there's not going to be a lot of rain, but two, because Look at the timestamp. It comes in sometime overnight, Monday into early Tuesday morning. We'll just feel that slightly cooler air pushing in behind as we go into the day on Tuesday. So again, a warmer day today, even warmer tomorrow with highs near 92 degrees. We'll drop it down 10 degrees by Tuesday, and then we'll keep temperatures in the low 80s through at least the middle of the week. A quick warm up into Friday before another cold front comes in Friday night into Saturday. That system could actually bring us a slightly better chance for a few scattered showers. 70 tonight, mostly clear, just a little warmer tonight. You'll feel that hint of humidity again. Again, it's not like it was last week. It's actually a pretty nice night, just a little warmer. And then tomorrow, 92 before we see that return chance for some showers overnight and then actually slightly cooler than normal with those high temperatures and mostly sunny skies through the middle of the week. Alicia, back to you.